Welcome to Blue Futon. Let's just get to the point and get another movie out of that box. I'm trying to reach so the microphone does that on me. Oh, it's a Canadian version, Cellular. Or in French, La Cellulary? La Cellulary? Have I seen this movie? Yes. I liked it back in the day. Give it a good 60 ish percent. Let me go watch El Cellulari and I'll let you know if the cellular phone. This let's go watch. Let's go watch it. I just gotta watch this cellular. It has Kim Bassing or if I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Jason Statham, Chris Evans, William H. Macy, and the beginning of Jessica Beale as long as as well as Eric Olsen Churchton. I said that wrong, didn't I? Eric Christian Olsen. Now. What is it about? Well, it's basically about Chris Evans, who's kind of a slacker, and he receives a mysterious cell phone call from a lady who's been kidnapped and is in the attic, and she randomly got on her phone because the burglars took the phone on the wall, smashed it, she's putting wires together, like beep, 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 and all of a sudden, Chris Evans picks up, and she's like, don't pay, hang up on me, I'm kidnapped, this is what's happening, and the whole is kind of a cat and mouse chase of Chris Evans trying to help this person on the other end of the phone and what the final reveal is you have to watch the movie to find out but what's good about this movie well it's a great acting i like the director of this movie it's the same director who did snakes on the plane actually which i recently watched this movie literally cuts to the chase in the first five minutes and i like that about movies sometimes it takes too long to get to what they're trying to go to it's like okay what are you trying to do this one is like bye i love you and all of a sudden bam kidnap so the action acting and directing is really well thought out in this movie. Even though it's in LA, it feels like the budget is kind of small and contained just because of how everything is shot. And it is well shot when we made a movie as well. Like I said, it's intense and it's from start to finish, it gets you going. The pacing as well is a good hour and a half movie and it's a really crisply shot and well liked movie in my opinion. If I choose a bad about the movie, it would be some of the character choices, but of course, like in all screenwriting, you have to have some stupid characters. I've said this in a lot of movies now, I want to tell you a stupid choice, but you're like, what are you doing? Or oh, there's a scene where Chris Evans is about to go through a tunnel. He's like, tunnel! And then he starts backing up. And if you notice in the camera, so this might be a editing choice. But he could have easily just done a quick turn this way and then get the other lane. But instead, he's going backwards a lot more. And then the other drivers on the road, they're just like, ah! Don't know where to turn! So it's kind of funny. And what you actually think these bad guys are after, it's not what you think usually, is, oh, it's about money or something, but it's not about money this time. And uh, to me, it's a well thought out movie as a whole though. Chris beginning, Chris second half, and then the third half. It's an entertaining, fun movie that I actually enjoyed. So cellular, good about the movie. Acting, directing, action, pacing. And overall, a fun, just action contained LA thriller bad, some character choices, and of course you see stuff coming of, oh, I knew that guy's bad, I knew that guy's good. So not really a lot of twists and turns in my opinion, it was just straight to the point, but sometimes you don't need to try to trick the audience like Interstellar, and I saw that from the first 15 minutes. But anyway, Cellular will receive a three and a half at five blue futons, which equals a 70%. It's like, it almost feels like now every time William H. Macy's in a movie, I gotta watch it, and I kind of enjoy all the movies he's in. Well, let's see what Rotten Tomato Critics and your scores gave La Cellular. Well, they got it 55% with the critics and 59% with the audience. And here's the critic consensus. So it's gimmicky and occasionally feels like a high-end cell phone ad. Cellular is also energetic and twisty thriller. I have to agree and disagree. Twisty, I mean, I guess it was a twist of what was actually in the bag of what these bad guys are actually going for. That was a twist. But once you saw this, what was in the bag, you realize, oh, now I know where this is going. Cell phone ad, I have to disagree. To me, this movie is actually ahead of its time. This came out in 2004, and of course, they're doing all Nokia's, and like Nokia's like, oh, what can this phone do? It could film people, it could take pictures, it could do this and this. Well, fast forward to today's day and age, 14 years later, and the phone does so much more. So to me, actually, even though the writing is kind of ho-hum on some aspects of the movie, the actual premise is way ahead of its time, and that is also a very good positive. So, do you, are you with me with my 70? The audience 59, or the critics 55? 270 Blue Futon. A lot of times subscribe. Well, no, you think it's Blue Futon Utopia. You Blue Futonians, thanks for watching, and have a great day.
And there was a funny line in this movie where this girl's driving slow and he's like, get off your phone, you're disrupting. And he picks up the phone himself, which that is my biggest pet peeve. When I see people doing this, It's like, bro, you're gonna kill someone, you idiot. <laughs>